Hello. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set your left hand up to be able to press down our first couple notes on the D string and how to set that left arm up so that we are setting ourselves up for the most success. So the first thing we're going to do is learn this position in guitar position so that we can keep our eyes on what our finger is doing and get an idea of what it feels like. So we're going to start here in guitar position. I would like for you to start by holding it in your right hand and with your left hand telling, saying stop. So you're holding your hand out like this and stop. Now what I want you to do is bring that thumb in so that you make a check mark. You can see right here that it kind of looks like a check mark. It's not wide like this, it's brought in to a check mark like this. And now we channel our inner Beyonce's and we do a little Beyonce and stop with our hand facing out. You'll notice that my elbow to my base knuckles right here is a nice straight line. I'm keeping this as a nice straight line. I'm not bending my wrists like this. I'm not overly bending like this. I'm a nice straight line from elbow to these base knuckles. Now, we've got our hand shape like this. We've got it turned around like this. Still maintaining our check mark with our thumb. And what I want you to do is take your hand and place that check mark so that the neck of your instrument is inside that check mark. Then you're going to slide back and forth. Once you get to where you can start to feel the scroll back here, touch the base knuckle on your index finger, you're going to slide back and stop when you start to feel that happen. Then what you're going to do is curl your fingers down, standing them up, nice and tall on the tapes of your instruments. The part of your finger that makes contact with the string is the part that if you tapped your fingers like this, that's the tip of, that's the part of the finger that pushes the strings down, okay? So just in reviewing guitar position, we're going to say stop, we're gonna make our check mark, we're going to Beyonce, stop, then we're gonna bring it into the neck, Slide that check mark back and forth on the back of the neck and slide it all the way back to the scroll and curl our fingers straight down. Now we're going to talk about how we do this same left hand instrument position but in shoulder position. So first thing we're going to do is make sure we have a nice steady solid shoulder position and we want to make sure that our instrument is being held up with our neck. So if we're not able to do this portion right here, we may need to adjust our shoulder rest, adjust how tall it is or close it is to your body. But we want to make sure we have a nice, solid, good posture and we're holding the weight of our instrument up with our neck. Now we can kind of hold it up with our right hand as well just to be safe. And what I want you to do is go through those same steps. So we're going to say stop, we're going to say check mark, like this, we're going to Beyonce. Now the only difference is, is instead of coming in at a sideways like in guitar position, we're going to come in from the bottom and slide back and forth. You'll notice that my wrist is still nice and straight. I still have that same, same shape of my wrist and elbow. Okay, I'm not bent like this or like this. Nice straight wrist. I'm gonna slide it back until I feel that scroll and now I'm gonna curl my fingers down onto the D string so that all four of my fingers are standing up nice and tall. And at this point, now we're in that good left hand position for uh, playing in shoulder position. 